Hi there. This makes me look fat, doesn't it? Anyway, the camera adds 40 pounds or 20. Adds 40 pounds, I assure you. Welcome to my woman's cave again. And I'm having a problem here and maybe you can help me. Doesn't matter what I do. I thought that I was at 17 pounds, my base weight. Guess what? I'm at 20 pounds. And doesn't matter how much I cut, I cannot get it lower. Uh, so, rates review, maybe you can help me to figure out what should I cut. Okay, I got rid of uh, the water holder, water bottle holder. I got this ring, if you can see it, holds the bottle, and I have here, but I got stuck down there, something to hold it on the side. I can drink directly from it without taking it off. Here, I have the uh, disinfectant, pepper spray, thermometer. So basic. Now, let me go to check what else I have outside of the backpack. Okay. Uh, I think I have to lower the camera here to see what... Okay, sorry about that. Remember, I don't edit. Okay. And... Even lower. Okay. Okay. Now, in the brain of the pack, I uh, don't put anything because this brain from uh, Osprey, uh, REN65, you cannot remove the brain. I don't know how to do this to make sure you can see everything. Okay, let's try this. Okay, I have the uh, cap here. Oh, here it is. I found uh, this that holds the bottle. I have to adjust it and make it right. I have the hat. In this side pocket, I am having the Pepsi bottle in which I will uh, use uh, for the mixed drinks. I have my water filtration system, which is just uh, this Sinak bag to liter. Sawyer, bandana uh, to filter the debris before it goes in the back. And in case of emergencies, the pills, in case something goes wrong with my filter. Okay, so this is one side of the pocket. In the other side of the pocket, Okay, I have here the camp shoes. In the other side of the pocket, I have the frog tags, uh, the rain gear. I am not pulling it out. This, I added the cord. It's supposed to be reflective cord. Uh, the, this paracord, I'm going to use it also to hang my food bag. Uh, but uh, also has double purpose. During the daytime, I'm uh, going uh, to use it to hang my socks or something, anything uh, that I wash. And I have here on the bottom my sleeping pad. Uh, yes, I know a lot of people doesn't understand why I'm going only with this because they would be uncomfortable. I slept on it. Usually what I do, I double fold it and sleep on it. It's better for my backpack. And I put uh, my uh, feet on the backpack. The backpack would be at my feet. And uh, I am perfectly fine with it. I slept on it many times and I slept really good. In the compartment of the back where is supposed to go the sleeping bag, I decided to put a tent because a sleeping bag is the last thing that I would need during the day. 
And first thing that I am going to need, it's my tent. So here, in this pocket, I put the extra cord. No reason to cut it because I'm going to use it to hang the bag. This is the easiest way to have a footprint. It's not an emergency blanket. It's uh, the emergency uh, sleeping bag, which is really dur durable. So not to puncture the bottom of the tent and in the same time, really light. Okay, so I have uh, uh, the poles, the stakes. The stakes I ended up going with the shepherd hooks. I know it's a little heavier, but I am losing hooks. And also I always here screw it up. Shepherd uh, hooks are the best for me. And of course, I have the tent. I am not going to pull it out. I have an Agnes uh, uh, Fly Creek uh, UL to a two-person tent, which is pretty light. Now, I think that's all what I had uh, outside of the pack. Let's go inside of the pack to see what we can cut out of it. God, I love this bag. As I said before, I cut a lot of stuff out of it. I have to be more careful with this, not to tangle it like this during the day because it can be a pain. Anyway. What the heck I did? Usually I don't have this problem. I pull it really easy. This time I screw it up again. Of course, because I make uh, I make a video and uh, when everything's supposed to go right, goes wrong. Murphy's Law or Pink Fox Law. If I want to show off something, come on. Sorry about that, folks. Okay. So, let's go. I put in the base weight, the other uh, odorless bags. And I have here my uh, Gatorade powders. I cut down on emergency kit. On emergency kit now, I have only a few band-aids, which I doubt it I am going to use them, but they don't weigh too much. Some uh, uh, more skin, uh, some antibiotic cream, and uh, two uh, antiseptic wipes. That's all what's... Oh, and of course, uh, 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 for the tweezer for the stupid uh, ticks. Okay, so I cut a lot from this. Now, medication. On medication, here on the medication, I'll get rid of a lot of these bottles after I go through the airport because I don't want to be questions what kind of drugs I am carrying around. I think I am going to get a, a, even a smaller one of these. And I have here also a small, small toothbrush and a small comb. That's all what I am left with. And uh, I need to add uh, the uh, small tube of uh, toothpaste. Okay. So this would be a lot smaller. So probably I'll cut maybe half a pound on this one after I go through the airport. My glass case has to be solid. I cannot afford to, to break my glasses. A repair kit. If you remember last time, I had all kinds of uh, stupid stuff on repair kit. Uh, glue and uh, thread and uh, little scissors. And I figure out it cannot be fixed with uh, duct tape then anyway, I need a new one. 
So I have just the basic for the tent in case I need the, uh, if, if uh, the poles, I screw them up, bend them and so on and uh, extra stuff to help me sustain it in case I break it until I go to town. Okay, this is my summer clothes with an extra pair of underwear. My hat, extra toilet paper. Oops, sorry. I apologize for that. Extra toilet paper. My gloves and uh, these are uh, uh, the gloves and the mittens. I have to have them both because of uh, my uh, previous history with frostbite and. Uh, the mittens, I suppose I'm going to need them at the beginning of the trip and at the end, but they have to stay there. My puffy coat. And I cut on socks, so I have the the uh, socks uh, that um, are waterproof, water resistant. I cut on socks a lot. You have to be proud of me, okay? I have uh, these uh, those uh, socks, uh, those socks, two pairs, and I have a pair of darn tough socks. That's all. Two pairs of those and one pair of darn tough. So I am good. I am behaving. I cut a lot of socks. And here I have the sleep uh, sleeping stuff. Now, this is down, and this would be in the exterior. Okay, a lot of people was like, why you are taking two sleeping bags? These two sleep, uh, sleeping bags, both, they weigh two pounds. If I take a good for winter liner, and because I checked, it's a pound and a, a something, always over a pound. So let's say I have a sleeping bag and a good liner. So I will be over two pounds. This is my liner. Another sleeping bag is my liner and the sleeping bag. And I am only at two pounds, exactly two pounds. Pajamas, socks, and booties. That's all what was inside. Now, what happened? I took the brain because I ended up so far buying three backpacks. An Aspriora 50, Mariposa 60, and the Aspri Ren 65. And I took the brain from um, Aspriora 50 and I have it as a fanny pack because I cannot go on the side pockets uh, to look for my uh, uh, treats. And, uh, oh, talking about side pockets, let's go. I forgot about the side pockets to pull out what I have here. Okay, here, I have in one a small knife that's really light. I don't even know how to open it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, here it is, <laughs> a small knife that's really light. I have a bandana in one, okay, uh, some uh, hair uh, stuff, plus another clip for the water bottle in case something happened with the other one. And here in the... Uh, in the second packet, I have the baby wipes. Baby wipes. Okay. That was the second packet. So that was all what it was in backpack. Now, I have this. That would be like my fanny. Here I can hold my uh, uh, electronics, my snacks, my uh, sun gloves, a wallet, which is really, really light. It comes with a small clip. It's really light. 
let's hope would be always light. I want money on it, okay? And uh, for credit cards and so on. Uh, the um, chapstick. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Okay. On that packet. Here I have my phone case. So the other phone case that I used to have from Gossamer. Uh, I'm not taking it. This is waterproof. Can go around the neck. Can go. You can grab it on anything. This would be my, my phone. And I can uh, uh, videotape with uh, this anyway. And here I have some toilet paper and uh, my uh, breadcrumbs. And electronics. My bag with electronics. What happened is I have the lamp. And what I did with the lamp, because I, uh, it's hard to make a fanny pack out of the brain, uh, and I didn't want to take extra stuff. This is my belt from the night lamp. This would be my belt. Here it is. I have a belt. And uh, it's rechargeable, night core. I have... This is fast charging for the phone. I am taking this. It's longer. You never know. I am going to a restaurant to eat or something quickly. I can recharge my phone if I cannot uh, recharge uh, the battery bank. And the battery bank. Uh, and I have the cords for the battery bank and the cord for the night light. And also here, uh, it's um, um, a memory stick for the phone if I have extra stuff that I need to save. That's all for the electronics. <clears throat> this is everything that I cut down. What I can cut out of this to be safe, I'm not talking comfortable because I think I'll be comfortable. I am not going to freeze. I am not going to, But uh, what should I cut down? How, how I can bring it down? Unfortunately, I was bragging and I was so full of myself and so proud of myself how much money I saved in the gear. And guess what? This is a secret. Don't tell my husband, but I think I spent around seven to eight hundred dollars in extra gear that never goes with me on Appalachian Trail and I cannot use it now. Okay, the clothes that I am going to wear. Okay, a bra, a bandana, the, uh, how do you call them? The compression socks, a t-shirt, a t-shirt, an uh, extra hoodie. And um, I have the um, tights. Okay, and uh, 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 my uh, gaiters that I need uh, for. So this, I am going to wear them all the time anyway. Uh, I, when it's really cold, because for example, uh, in my videos around here is 20 degrees, uh, 20 degrees outside and I am warm dressed, I want to sweat. But... Uh, I went and I am comfortable with only this. If it's really cold, I can put the uh, rain cover. So in a way, my puffy, puffy jacket is more emergency and uh, only maybe to sleep in cold nights or uh, when I am sweaty, get to the camp, I'll put it on me uh, quickly. And uh, I don't think I am going to wear the puffy jacket while I'm hiking. Well, uh, unfortunately, my uh, budget, I am over my budget uh, for the gear. That's all what I can carry. But you might see something that I really don't need and I shouldn't carry with, uh, with me. Uh, thank you for your help. And uh, I appreciate your input on what can I do about this gear to cut it down. Because I overspent, as I said, on uh, gear and still I am not where I'm supposed to be. Thank you guys. Bye.